Progress in the field of communications never seems to stop. To write his letter, man has used ink and the quill, the ballpoint pen, the typewriter and today, the computer. The keys on a keyboard might not make as much noise as drums, but they're just as efficient at sending news, good or bad. Delivery methods have also evolved, from carrier pigeons to postmen, from messengers to today's information superhighways. This woman has just received some electronic mail. She's probably working and not writing a letter to her friends. Electronic mail has the advantage of going where postal mail isn't distributed. Nonetheless, it's much nicer to get a handwritten letter. This woman seems to be daydreaming. She'll send her message in a bottle. Who knows, maybe a mermaid will find it and reply. But if the letter's wet, the address on the envelope will be illegible. Judging by her smile, this woman is definitely not writing to her bank manager. Rather, she's writing to her son. She's already imagining his happiness when the postman delivers the letter. All that's left is to put on the stamp and take the letter to the post office. She will kiss it so it will arrive even faster. The child is very happy to receive a letter. Even if he can't read well yet, the boy recognizes his mother's handwriting and he telephones her straight away to thank her. She's surprised that someone is calling so early in the morning and discovers that it's her son on the other end of the line. One of the advantages of the telephone is that you can immediately hear the voices of the ones you love. But a phone call is short-lived. A letter lasts, though. Receiving mail would be impossible without the help of the postman, who, every day, whatever the weather, delivers the mail. However, the days there are bills, he could quite happily stay at home and have a lie-in. We wouldn't be angry.